The Library of Eternity Greetings, friend. Have you ever had a deep desire to satisfy your boundless curiosity? Your infinite lust and longing for knowledge, answers and fulfillment? It is a reckless feeling. To be kept in the unknown with a void that so desperately longs for filling, for it is the search for truth that has led humans from their ancestral caverns into their modern skyscrapers. It will be that exact same craving that will push humans from skyscrapers into interstellar satellites and extraterrestrial homes. It is amazing that knowledge, mere facts or conce concepts that exist merely as natural networks throughout one's nervous system could result in something as enticing and complex as civilization's knowledge also hold the power to destroy everything it had built, including its very own existence. Let me tell you of a place where anything you have ever wondered or questioned will be satisfied and fulfilled. It is a mystical place that only few will ever have access to, yet visiting this place has a cost, for those who visit this place will be condemned to remain there forever, as any traces of their existence are completely erased from the physical world. Perhaps in your childhood or your early adulthood, you may have been, had a best friend or a girlfriend, of course. You do not remember such a person. For they have chosen to visit that magical place, had given up their existence to satisfy their lust for answers. Men and women you have met, who claim to have chosen to remain single, or old couples who claim to have chosen not to not have children, may very well have may very well once have had a spouse or a son or daughter, their existence just like those of your lost friends or girlfriend were a sacrifice for knowledge. Perhaps you are frightened of being erased. I have given you all the conditions of entry and I have offered you the trade-off. If you are willing to make that sacrifice, I will reveal to you how to enter this place. Yet if you still care for anyone on the planet, or if you have a love waiting for you, or if you simply aren't willing to make the sacrifice, I will show you how to avoid entry. One night, you will have a dream. The dream happens on any night, but at most, likely happens on a night when you feel very strongly that desire for knowledge. You will open your eyes and see yourself lying on a warm floor wrapped in blankets. If you look around, you will see yourself in the center of a room with walls made of stone with wooden doors on one of the sides. The room will be lit with four torches, one on each wall. You are free to get up and explore your surroundings. Don't do not worry, for you will be in no danger. The walls, the torches, and doors are indestructible and stable, and the flames of the to torches will only tingle you with warmth. Nobody 
Not even I know what lies beyond the stone wall. Perhaps it is an empty void, or perhaps it is pure chaos. If at any time you wish to leave this place, you need only wrap yourself up in the blankets. You will, le will immediately feel drowsy and fall asleep, and then awake again the very next day with no memories of your dream. Yet know that should you leave, you will never be able to return. Should you be curious, you would explore the room a bit before wandering through those wooden doors. You will enter a room with, that resembles a small office, a single dim lamp hanging from the ceiling, illuminating the whole room. Beside you will be one chair and in front of it will be a desk. On the desk, you'll see memorabilia from countless years and countless years in the future. Objects will vary from person to person. You may see artifacts such as an ancient tool used by prim primordial human beings, coins, objects, coins bearing the faces of Charlemagne. The quill used to sign the Declaration of Independence. All well, as many future objects, such as a, a quantum computer, chip, hologram projectors, or even pieces of a time machine. Behind the desk, you will see a large shelf of dozens of books sitting there side by side. You will be unable to distinguish the titles of the books nor the words within those books, but to reach over and grab a book or to look closely would be rather inconvenient task. For sitting behind the desk is a man wearing a trench coat and a hat that covers his face. When you enter the room, he will be reading a book. He will appear to ignore you until you speak up. And should he finish a book in silence, he will stand up, put his book back on the shelf, and take another. One important note is that this place, time has stopped. You will not yet require to make the choice, you will have the option of leaving. So you may consider just staying there and contemplating anything you want. You may achieve deep revelation during your eternal contemplation, but know that everyone will be forgotten the moment you return home. The man who sits at the desk known as the gatekeeper. Once you speak to him, he will address your statement before intr introducing you to you, the Library of Eternity. You will get a way more detailed description once he, from him once you meet him but allow me to offer a description of the place. The Library of Eternity contains every possible book you could imagine. It is a room 26 shelves long but infinitely shelved wide. Each shelf contains an infinite infinity of books corresponding to the letters from the A to Z. Everything from the answer to the meaning of life to the math solution to zero slash zero can be found within the vast library should you be determined enough to search within its delf depths. If you look above your head, you will see the stone walls fade into a blackened void. Every few me hundred meters of shelves, there are some tables and some chairs where you may rest Read a certain book should it attract your liking. There are candles that float above, carrying powerful and bright flames that can illuminate large portions of the library. You are you can even pluck them from out of the air should you want to sit down and enjoy a book. Lack proper light if there's something if there is something special on your mind. You may consult me. I will be sitting 
in a grand desk facing the side of all 26 shelves. You will see me either reading a thick volume or writing strange text that is seemingly gibberish. Pay no heed to what I am writing or what I am reading, for it is knowledge only I will understand. Come to me and I will greet you warmly, as well as answer any questions you may have. To the best of your abilities to comprehend, I will also teleport you to certain locations of certain volumes, should, you, should any answer you seek resides in those volumes, do not be hesitant or dis on disturbing me, for what deadline it is there to meet. The gatekeeper, after offering you a highly comprehensive description of the library, will warn you of the same risks and trade-offs I mentioned earlier. A trapdoor will materialize beneath you, your feet as he speaks, which leads you to a one-way journey to the Library of Eternity. You will have a choice. You may sacrifice your existence and enter the trapdoor, or you may leave, may return to the previous stone room, wrap yourself back in those blankets, and return home. If you have any difficulties with your choice, you may consult the gatekeeper, but he will ignore any questions or concerns that are not related to the choices. As I mentioned earlier, you may still stay there for as long as you want, but you will forget everything the moment you return home. If you choose, if you choose to satisfy your first of answers, then you will enter the trap door. You will find yourself falling to a near total darkness with bright lights occasionally whizzing past you. This is the process of destroying your existence from the physical world. Once you jump in, there is no turning back. After a per certain period of time, you will fall unconscious again. When you awaken, you will find yourself curled up in the wooden floors of the library. At that point, you are no longer a human being of flesh, but a being known as an inquirer. As you stand up, you will see the 26 shelves before you are they before you as they stretch into infinity. And if you turn around, you will see me busy at work in my grand desk, but happy to help you with any questions you may have. The rest of the library, I believe, will require no further descriptions. Two questions may still plague your mind at this point. First of all, you may wonder where the other inquirers are. This library is time is a timeless location. So sure, there must be plenty of inquirers, right? Well, my friend, you would be correct in assuming that the other inquirers exist. Yet it is very unlikely that you will that you would meet one of them, for they have all delved within the deep seas of infinity, within these shells. I have so far only seen each inquirer once. Upon teleporting them, I have never seen them again. The power of knowledge and the satisfaction of answers is truly marvelous and powerful. Finally, every single inquirer has wondered who resides at the end of infinity. It has been said that the at the non-existence, impossible end of infinity resides the Chrono Keeper. The Chrono Keeper is a being refer referenced in many volumes as the watcher of everything and the embodiment of the library himself. He is an observer of everything. He sees across time periods, dimensions, physical realms, and even minds. It is said 
that he holds the ultimate truth to everything. Whether or not he exists, we can only wonder, for he resides somewhere that does not exist. Now that you are aware of such a magnificent place, and now that I have presented every detail with re regards to this place, it is up to you. One day, you will have the dream, and to those who decide to jump into the rabbit hole, I will see you in Wonderland. Sincerely, The Librarian.